Welcome back, friends. Between Bells and Cheddar News, I'm Baker Machado, and Cheddar News is celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. We're highlighting the history, culture, and contributions of Hispanic and Latinx communities, and we're diving into issues that matter and shining a light on the amazing influence of Hispanic culture. And Telemundo's Radar 2021 explores politics and culture for a bicultural and bilingual Latinx audience. It's dubbed as Not Your Abuela's New Show, and this is hosted by producer and writer Gabriela Fuescas, and she joins us now here on Shutter News. Gabriela, great to have you here. So your show dives into racism, the queer Latinx community, a lot of really important topics. So how are you guys sort of aiming to create a more equal society? And really, what has this show kind of taught you about this community? Well, so much. And thank you for having me. Um, I know it has been a heritage month for me. That month is uh, 12 months out of the year. And I'm really excited to be working on such a amazing, inclusive show like Radar. The most important thing is that when you look at representation across the media landscape, for Latinx people, it is abysmal. So, and oftentimes we think a lot about, you know, TV and film specifically when we're talking about representation. The Emmys was last night. I think maybe six performers, six Latinx performers were recognized. But we sometimes forget that representation also matters in news media. These are the people crafting the stories, the people dictating what stories run and don't run. And being a part of Radar has allowed us to create a platform where we can look at the vast diversity of the Latinx community in a very nuanced way. So Absolutely. it's been a really exciting project to be a part of. Absolutely. And by the way, I, you guys created this during the pandemic, so I can only imagine what that was like. But you were nominated recently for an award for the show, so congratulations on that. Uh, what sort of important segments do you guys sort of really go after and sort of highlight here? And, and why is sharing these stories really just so important at the end of the day? We, we like to go after topics that sometimes you know, just aren't discussed in our community. They're often very taboo or very uncomfortable conversations, whether we're talking about mental health, which there is such a stigma and a taboo within, you know, everything related to mental health within the Latinx community. But also we did an episode on sexual health. Um, we did an episode on ancestral spirituality and how a lot of millennials and Gen Zers are now reclaiming some of the indigenous ancestral traditions and religions that were sort of erased through colonization. So we're always looking to talk about things that, we don't have conversations about and that just aren't addressed in most mainstream news. And in terms of the, the English language content here, you know, Gabriella, how are you sort of approaching that? How broad really is the show here in terms of the, the language barrier here? Well, it is in English, so we do cater to, you know, mostly English speaking audience, but we inject a little Spanglish here and there. And I think the reality is that so many of us bicultural kids here in the United States speak both languages or at least speak some, um, some, to some degree, speak both languages. And we're really catering to that audience and recognizing the fact that there is a vast community of Latinx people who primarily speak English in the United States. And I got to hand it to Telemundo for basically pioneering this effort to create the first news commentary show in English, which is you know, really exciting. Absolutely, because look, you, you, some of your audience probably hasn't even been to Latin America. Some of your audience probably mm -hmm. doesn't even speak Spanish. So it is a very broad group of people that are a part of all of this. And let's go back to the conversations here, because uh, do you ever sort of, I don't know, not get intimidated, but are some of the discussions, do you feel uncomfortable having some of these conversations? Because some of those, I have a, a hard time talking about it by <laughs> myself on this show. Well, listen, I sometimes joke that my goal in life is to take on the kind of topics that would make my parents cringe. <laughs> so as long as I'm doing that, I know I'm getting something yes. <laughs> right. Um, it, you know, we have to be able to live in that discomfort in order to sort of like heal a lot of the generational trauma that our communities have experienced. We have to be willing to accept that discomfort and talk about things that, you know, for years have just kind of been scooted under the rug, uh, mental health in particular. I mean, we just, we're still in this pandemic and people are suffering on so many different levels. And Growing up in a Mexican-American household, therapy was not ever something that was on the table. But I got to say, I, I, I started working with a therapist for the first time during the pandemic, and I could not recommend it more. And I'm just happy to see that our attitudes culturally 
are changing when it comes to a lot of these things. So I invite the discomfort. Let's be uncomfortable <laughs> together yes. and talk about these things. Amen. So well said. And I, too, strongly endorse therapy as well. I think it is a life-changing thing. Uh, Radar 2021 host Gabriela Fresquez. You can catch Radar 2021 right now on YouTube. Gabriela, good to have you here. And, of course, you can watch new episodes every Wednesday at 5 p.m.